Welcome to the Nosebleed Seats. I am the Mech, Silver the Crime Fighter. We're back at uh, Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling at East Carindellet. I pronounce it Carindellet because that's how it's spelled. Carindellet. It doesn't pronounce how it's spelled, but whatever. We're opening things up with the six-man tag here. Named Frank is going to be automatically called the Thumper. Daniel yeah. leads. Come out of Iowa. Wow. Yeah. Legendary Gateway guy, GCW. And of course, Bobby D, a member of that family who all have a D with their representative. Their, their last name is represented by just a D. I don't, I never got that. There's like a whole army of people with a D as a, by their name. Well, I don't know if this uh, Bobby is a Democrat or not. So here we go, um, Max Altworth, part of the, I guess, closed Pro Wrestling Collision. Frank Wyatt, of course, uh, came out of uh, IWA Unlimited. And we're gonna start off with, uh, looks like, Danny Lee adds and Max Altworth. Yeah, it's uh, quite the powerhouse out of uh, Southern Illinois is the current strictly insane pro wrestling heavyweight champion. Was a possible contender for Diamond and Ruff did not make the cut as there was quite a number of uh, valid contenders and of course the lady wins. Won the lady won the award, Jordan Grace. I think it's more of a presence in, uh, further up north than, uh, a lack of presence further up north than, uh, more than anything that kept him out of, out of running. And he adds with a drop kick on Axe. And goes to the side headlock. Dana Lee adds. This is a strange weekend. There is no wrestling shows this weekend. Third weekend in March. Although uh, Harley Race will be uh, running an event. Kind of a uh, reschedule of sorts. And he adds. Got a shoulder block and goes right to a side headlock. Not falling for it. Harley Race will be running in Otterville, Missouri. That's way into central Missouri, so it's quite a, quite a drive for those in the central Illinois. Probably the western Illinois uh, fans are probably going to, if they want to drive that far, will probably uh, make the trip. It's going to be on Friday the 14th. They uh, canceled their show on March the 1st for fear of bad weather. The uh, Dynamo Pro Wrestling also canceled on March the 1st for fear of bad weather. Although the worst of it was for much further up north and I actually had the 
pleasure of driving in the uh, falling snow. Coming back from Dreamwave as Eads gets a couple of shoulder blocks on uh, Frank Wyatt. And Wyatt boxes the ears of Daniel Eads. Oh, Eads responds with a drop kick. And another one. And Wyatt. I swing, missed. Missed the target, another drop kick, and down goes Wyatt. And at the two count. And a shove into the corner. And the man now known as the Thumper. As I said earlier, every anybody in St. Louis with the first name Frank is gonna be called Frankie the Thumper. It's kind of a play on the uh, Legendary Frankie Lancaster out of uh, Dallas, Texas. There's a tag to the Joker. Well, and he wants somebody else in the match, not... He wants to tag somebody else, and there's the tag to Bobby D. Not seen too much of uh, Bobby D. He's probably better known for wrestling uh, for uh, MMWA SICW. Also, I believe, wrestled for Rampage Championship Wrestling. Side headlock. From Bobby D. Oh yeah, look at that. Bobby D twists the arm of the big man. Joker has been uh, kind of off and on. His activity in the ring has been off and on the past so many years. He has appeared a couple of times in uh, for uh, New Midwest Wrestling many years ago, back in right around 2006. Joker goes flying over the top rope as Bobby D low bridges Joker. It looks like he's gonna go flying it. Into the front row goes Bobby D. The fourth weekend of March is when uh, things start really picking up again. Pro Wrestling Glory will be holding a tag team tournament in Mara on the 22nd. Of course, Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling will be running its event here at this very venue on the 22nd as well. Best get uh, res reserved tickets or purchase reserved tickets because uh, this venue sells out there's only really room for about 300 people in here and the last time i attended a sicw show there was only a couple of seats that were not reserved Just every seat in this venue had a reserved sign on it with the name of the person who reserved the seat i do also want to make mention that uh, Zero One Supreme is running Thursday night events at the Fluid Event Center. Right now it's a 9 p.m. start. Now they're talking about moving it up earlier in the evening. But of course the advertising's already been put in, so they have to run at 9 p.m. for the time being. This is in Champaign, Illinois, 9 p.m. start. Suplex from Bobby D. Thursday night, it's going to be an hour long show. Those watching in, uh, on UPTV6, please head out to the Fluid Event Center and support Zero One tomorrow night. Access four viewers for watching this at uh, 10 30 p.m. It's already It's already happened and you want to uh, head out and out next Thursday 
Gonna make the drive to Champagne. Side elbow from Chaz Wesson. And we have a battle of the old school warriors. Both have the nickname. I don't know if they ever teamed. I don't believe they have, but I'm not aware of it. And Daniel Yeads tagged in, drops an elbow on Axe, and Wyatt comes in to break it up. And Eads takes exception to that. But that's really good tag team wrestling. Yeads and Wyatt have been having issues with each other for apparently quite a while. Irish whip. And Eads double knees to the corner and nobody home and Wyatt tags in and Wyatt gonna thump Eads in the gut. And Wyatt in complete control thus far in the match. Frank Wyatt pretty much dominating thus far. One other event I want to make mention, Pro Wrestling Prestige comes back from the ashes. As Frank Wyatt drops the leg, he will be there. Frank Wyatt will be appearing for uh, Pro Wrestling Prestige on March the 23rd at the Moose Lodge in Vandalia, Illinois. That's a Sunday night show as the Joker tags back in and Bobby D getting angry. About the beatdown, Daniel Eads is receiving it in the uh, enemy corner. Joker's head of steam and splashes Daniel Eads. Dima Wyatt, Joker, and Altward pretty much outweigh their opposition by a wide margin. Uppercut from Axe. And he had trying to fight out, fight out of the enemy corner. It's gonna knock Joker and Wyatt loopy so he can get away, but Axe with a suplex and referee Jay King counts too. SICW uh, produces its own YouTube show. Be sure to uh, watch that online, on demand. They also air this program on uh, Charter Cable in the St. Louis area as Frank Wyatt tags in to thump. He adds some more. These matches have already aired on their program, but we are showing them here to uh, new audiences in Springfield, Champaign. Chess Wesson tried to pull ES out of the way. It was too late. ES got caught in the corner. Irish whip. And ES goes in hard. Frank Wyatt. And a steam, and Bobby D pulls. He is now the corner of the charging Wyatt. Bobby D goes on to the side of the head of Wyatt. Third one just knocks him down. Only a two count. He hits back in the ring. Bobby D tags in Chaz Wesson. Joker and Axe to the floor. Taken out by Eads as Wesson, a veteran who uh, wrestled exclusively for uh, Gateway Championship Wrestling many years ago. Bobby D off the top, missile drop kick. The ceiling is not that high, but just high enough. Joker with a slap to the back to break that up. And Bobby D. Oh, he got caught. Bobby D in trouble. Frank Wyatt rams him in the corner. Bobby D in big trouble. Dale Leeds comes back in, hits a drop kick. Wyatt collapses. Cover one, two, three. Over. Got him.
Bobby D, Chaz Wesson, and Daniel Eads victorious in 12 25 by pinfall. Well, that was a fun little six man tag. Quite a, had a lot of those back in the day. Just don't uh, see too many of them uh, these days. I've always kind of pushed the idea of a trios tournament in the Midwest, but hasn't happened. But we're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a look at the weekend schedule. Our second uh, match of the uh, evening here on the program. Coming to the ring from the uh, southeastern part of the United States, Ricky Cruz. Ricky Cruz has been ranked in the uh, PWI 500. Former uh, SICW Classic Champion. Before we get out of here, make mention again, Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling hold an event, March 22nd. You want to reserve tickets now. March the 29th also, Caseyville, Illinois at the Village Hall. They'll be holding an event there. But for March 22nd, here's a look at the main event. Headlining matches, two out of three falls. King Casa versus Jake Durden and Chaz Wesson versus Ricky Cruz, two out of three falls on both of them. Ricky Cruz will be taking on the old school warrior, Chaz Wesson. This is the final main event of 2013. It is set for one fall with a one hour time limit. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first before the bout starts, after 27 years, his final match in the stripes in all of pro wrestling, senior official Jim Harris. James Harris Sr. should be inducted into the St. Louis Wrestling Hall of Fame. To my left, from Guaya, Puerto Rico, weighing 260 pounds, 270 pounds, 300, 275, 6, 280 pounds. The former classic champion, Ricky Cruz. You know the ring announcer usually gets all the vitals before the show even starts? Before we continue, I heard that my opponent, Humpty Dumpty, I mean, Porky, no, uh, Bull Bronson, could not be here today because he was in a bar, he got into a fight, and he's in prison. Prison? Which, when I heard from a friend of mine, it's a lie, he just found out that he had new prances at David Corral's, and he's still leaving over there. I think he's embellishing anyway, a little bit. It's Christmas, so I'm going to give a gift to anyone in the back who wants a match with me. Just come out, and let's get it on. 
His opponent was originally going to be Bull Bronson. He was injured in a uh, bar fight. He worked uh, at, worked at as uh, a bouncer, and some patron got uh, pretty violent. He had to deal with that person, get him out, eject him from the bar, and uh, he uh, injured his knee, and thus could not be here tonight. And answering the challenge, uh, American Viking, Alexander, Ru Alexander Rudolph, who was nominated to get a nomination for the uh, 2013 or 2014 Diamond in the Rough. Alexander Rudolph has uh, been at it at least five years thus far. James Harris Sr., yes, should uh, get inducted into the St. Louis Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. The uh, Hall of Fame has been uh, closed the past uh, few years after so many people were inducted. They say no more will be inducted into that uh, Hall of Fame, but uh, Harris counts too. Well, two count. Ricky Cruz. Announced from uh, Puerto Rico. Harris, a veteran official, 27 years they say, as Alexander Rudolph gonna argue. Oh, schoolboy! One, two, two count. And Ricky Cruz, oh, a kick to the gut from Alexander Rudolph. I do want to make a mentioned uh, usually when we uh, air somebody's uh, matches on the program we put uh, their uh, federation logo in with the uh, name of the wrestler we have not been able to do that with uh, SICW for the simple reason SICW believe it or not doesn't have their own logo SICW does not have a logo for a promotion that's this popular Ricky Cruz gives Alexander the spine buster, wants the ref to cover, and take the pinfall. <laughs> well, we're certainly, <laughs> Cruz and Harris certainly having fun for his uh, final match, and Alexander Rudolph doesn't look thrilled. But uh, that, the match continues as Cruz gives uh, Rudolph a big chop. Ah, boot to the face! And Rudolph putting the boots to Ricky Cruz. And now the chokehold. I do want to make, also make mention, Rudolph uh, formed a new tag team with uh, Frank Wyatt. They have challenged the hooligans for the uh, Proving Ground Pro Tag Team titles as uh, they're calling themselves the Drunken Vikings. I don't know if they'll team anywhere else, but that's certainly a tag team that I think should uh, pair off regularly and not just be a uh, exclusive team to uh, PGP. If SICW uh, had a tag division, they would uh, be a team to put together here, at least. Chewbacca! 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 And Rudolph gonna choke him with his own hair! Rudolph has hair all the way to his waistline. Very long hair. Huge beard, very long hair, waist waist length hair. Pretty much defines uh, this big burly competitor. Still in his early 20s. Before he became a wrestler, he was pretty much a uh, an imposing figure in, as a fan, as a teenager. Before he even became a professional wrestler, his uh, 
presence was such a uh, his presence was such a uh, intimidating force that he actually got in a brawl you with that out be Shelley before he even became a wrestler. And Rudolph trying to uh, do a frog splash off the top. His head actually touched the ceiling. Nobody home. Ricky Cruz rolled out of the way. Rudolph is having a little issue getting his balance. He probably could have used this, put his hands on the ceiling to uh, balance himself before taking the leap, but uh, it did not work. Rudolph uh, just too tall to be standing on the top rope. And Cruz unloading and a clothesline. Side elbow. And another hard chop in the corner. It's the 300 plus fans here at uh, the East Carindale Community Center look on. Five minutes and left. Five minutes now. And a big boot to the face. One, two. Two. That was close. Ref did count three, but that arm shot up. Barely in time. I mean, I could see he kicked out. Barely kicked out. It was not late, but it was super close. Two and seven eights, and there's a power slam from Rudolph. And Cruz kicks out. Ron Rudolph is complaining about the count, but James Harris definitely gave Rudolph a break in that last count. And Rudolph gonna go to the outside. Where's he going? Rudolph wandering around ringside. It's like he cleared uh, stuff off of a chair. Somebody's personal belongings to grab a chair from the audience. Just about every chair in this venue is filled with a person. Rudolph is wielding a chair, swinging a mess. Kick to the face and that chair goes flying and Rudolph is down and the referee, James Harris Sr. counts one, two, three and it is over. Ricky Cruz closes out 2015 victorious in 6 minutes and 50 seconds. And Cruz got to speak. I want you to do me a favor. Let's all give a round of applause to this man for a great career as a referee. James Harris Sr. closes out a 27 year career roughing the main event at SICW and I also want to make mention James Harris has been hired to be the commissioner at a Mid-Missouri Wrestling Alliance well we're out of time for this edition of Nosebleed Seats we'll see you next time